Aviation Story, DCS 253-1 Charlie-67 Vietnam, AFBR Mac V5-2-67 Army. Recorded at three and three quarters.
seen nine ARAs wild. Uh, hotel Hotel 49, it looks like they'll be landing down south of that dark spot on the finger there. We'll try to aim towards the, uh... Yeah, six, eight, one, just to the right of the finger as we go in. Eight, one, seven, Scan for eight, 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 this one seven was that your last time over? Yeah, four three bombs. Got two minutes remaining over. So we'll go ahead and just keep shooting. A two three, a four three. This one seven, you've got two minutes remaining over. Be ready. One seven, this is Gunslinger yelling two. We're five minutes out from LC Sure. Gunslinger, I'll have all lands on the ground in about one minute and 45 seconds, over. We're going to have the right side. Uh, yellow 2, Roger. 3 kick, 1-7, same with you, over. Uh, yellow 3, Roger, thank you. Yellow 3, Roger, thank you. Okay, it won't be necessary to get too steep because we're going to break straight out right over the ocean. Four three, top kick, two three, top kick, one seven, all lands on the ground in one minute, over. Hey, Roger. Roger. Okay, hold it at 60 knots now. We're going to start getting into our spread.
Come on, Hotel 47, we're going to head back towards two bits. Uh, 49 will stay on station. Three top kick. Come on, Hotel 47, we're going to head back towards two bits. Uh, 49 will stay on station. Three top kick, one seven. Okay, uh, Hotel 47, come on, battery, uh, UHF, and two bit flash mic. Okay, let's head back there. Head back there. Okay. Big kick, one seven. Touchdown, Lima Zulu belt. At this time, over. Zero one is Lima. Touch, touchdown, belt. Is LZ Green over? No, no, yet. Touch. Zero, punch out, Lima Zulu jacket. Eight one seven. Uh, Touchdown, Lima Zulu jacket, over. Eight, right out. Seven, touchdown, Lima Zulu shirt, over. Eight, Roger, jacket, shirt.
Kick one seven, yeah, six eight.
now with the new concept of air mobility. Units of the 1st Cavalry Division, Air Mobile at An Khe, and other infantry units in Vietnam are being airlifted into battle by helicopters. Such a concept of air mobility tactics would fail without the coordination and timing. I would like to find an important role. Scene 11, take one, sink. It's uh, re-slate, uh, scene 11, take three, sink. Dog control, charger section. Cut it. Cut it. Such a concept of air mobility tactics would fail without the coordination, the planning, and timing, all of which play an important role in the securing of landing zones for the men of the 1st Cavalry Division Air Mobile. Reporting for the MACV Office of Information, this is Army Specialist Mike Baker. Reporting for the U.S. Army Special Photographic Detachment Pacific, this is Army Specialist Mike Baker. A concept of air mobility tactics. Got Go. Such a concept of air mobility tactics would fail without the coordination, the planning, and timing, all of which play an important role in the securing of landing zones for the men of the 1st Cavalry Division, Air Mobile. Reporting for the MACV Office of Information, this is Army Specialist Mike Baker. Reporting for the U.S. Army Special Photographic Detachment Pacific, this is Army Specialist Mike Baker. Wild Track Narration. Before the Vietnam conflict, infantry soldiers have always been called upon to march into war. But now with the new concept of air mobility, units of the 1st Cavalry Division, Air Mobile at An Khe, and other infantry units in Vietnam are airlifted into battle by helicopters. <clears throat> the coordination involved in this new concept is more complex than meets the eye. Putting this first cab unit Putting this 1st Cav Infantry Unit into a landing zone, or LZ, involves various elements. Among these are artillery, armed chinooks, and aerial rocket artillery, or ARA. 
The first step is to find enemy activity. This is the job of the aerial scouts. They fly at low level in a Bell OH-13, searching areas for Viet Cong activities. After the selection of the landing zone, the coordination and planning is completed. When the operation is to begin, the LZ is prepared by a combination of ordnance. Each phase of the assault is coordinated by the battalion commander and the S-3 officer and artillery liaison officer from a command and control helicopter. According to the timetable set up by the S-3 and battalion commander, if needed, there will be an airstrike by the armed Chinooks. The Chinook strike lasts approximately five minutes. Due to its non-discriminatory nature, the armed Chinook is rarely used when Allied forces or friendly Vietnamese are in the area. Immediately following the Chinook comes the artillery barrage. Artillery is fired for about five minutes, but the most important phase of the operation commences just prior to the lifting of the artillery. The lift ships carrying the infantry units are preparing to move into the area. Moving in front of the flight leader of the lift ships are two aerial rocket artillery ships, or ARAs. Each ship is equipped with 48 rockets. The ARAs move into the landing zone immediately after the last round. The ARAs move into the landing zone immediately after the last artillery round has exploded. The ARAs are in constant communication with the artillery so that they know the last round has exploded before they make their assault. In their strike, the ARAs use only half of their rockets and then fly support in case of any heavy enemy resistance around the LZ. Now that the LZ has been severely pounded and softened by the artillery and airstrikes of many different kinds, the infantry units enter the LZ with the secure knowledge that the initial landing will be secure from the sights of the elusive enemy's weapons. Such a concept of air mobility tactics would fail without the coordination, the planning, and timing, all of which play an important role in securing landing zones for the men of the 1st Cavalry Division Air Mobile. Reporting for the MACV Office of Information, this is Army Specialist Mike Baker. Reporting for the U.S. Army Special Photographic Detachment, Pacific, this is Army Specialist Mike Baker. <laughs>